Why, mate? Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Ogird von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not near by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The Wild Ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey, you think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Olgird. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Ogird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? I happen to like it. Especially the two ovoid forms. A jester. Good. I don't like men with no sense of humor. They bore me to death. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned, not a flaw on its surface, painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. 
Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgiad, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. This some special occasion? We just feel like feasting. Every occasion's special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her. Fair sabre, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become his victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with a sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Missy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Oh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Oh, no, you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Please, don't do this to me. Shani? Geralt? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. Help me! Shani, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure something can be done. Let it go. Damn it! All for nothing. You did all you could. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh, good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always. Mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times, as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But, uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army force you to come here, too? Were you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. 
Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Careful, monster might still be here. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas, oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well? Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then the drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. Beast probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Got the key. Good. Let's get going.
Legend going around about this monster being a prince turned into a toad, a curse or something. I've heard. A lot of women have fallen for it. I came out and started that rumor. I'll strangle them. So, don't believe it? <laughs> I studied medicine, not literature. I stopped believing in fairy tales and- Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Soldier. Came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. A woman. Must have come here hoping to find her prince. Shotty, watch out! Move! Hideous creatures. You all right? Mm, fine. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Mm, a lot of flowers. Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Hmm. Are you suggesting... the beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Shawnee, watch out! Move! Shawnee, watch out! Move! Basically intact, just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. Woman 
Hoffman's corpse, soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair, that'd be best. Shawnee, watch out! Move! I guess. Layers gotta be nearby. Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it... Maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Halavas. Galavekar. Gadarash Ail Vood. come to and he can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket where where am I on the albatross or the fuck bath oil it's their strange tongue has it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard seems you killed their prince in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So... Must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence, and your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, I could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We've been at sea long? Uh, Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand. <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not black horses with white stripes? Nay, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. Could teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorka! Galavat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Valar! Karvarethaner! You'll be dead already. Revhagar ne Aram e Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. Dorgate ye Alami! We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falth alaghe ul igulat. What? Elkal. Falth. Falth alaghe il khalif. Elkal. Inkal avr ikel u gharev ul vitar in shaafal kolayat. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. And then, he added something like, We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then. Why? 
What did I say? That you wanted his auntie's hat. That was the gist in your own. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? Like them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with them. Looks a Danian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage what leads them knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch them, shut I. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gaunter Odin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your... Jennifer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Never like boats. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stump churn. Oh, they'd be primed to sleep through the whole thing. On doing so, my honor relies. Can't we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drop. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Barring, flaying, and watering. This is for regicide and dance. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 